and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming probably the longest and biggest makeup haul ever. Um, so as you can see the scenery is a bit different because I have everything on my coffee table and it is just like my coffee table is just full so I'm kind of sitting close to it so I have easy access to everything. So um, Amy sent me some more makeup goodies for me, which I really appreciate. I'm so incredibly grateful that she would do this for me. And you guys wanted to see a kind of everything that I got, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, in no way am I bragging or anything like that. This is just, I asked you guys if you wanted to see it and you said yes, so um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I am going to start probably on this side of the coffee table and work my way back. So if you want to kind of see everything that I got, just keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here is my coffee table completely filled all the way. As you can see, I have everything from hair products to lotions to palettes to brushes, um, eyeshadows, blushes, face products, mascaras, eyeliners. I have pretty much everything from nail stuff to all this. So as like I said, I'm going to start from this end of the coffee table and work my way this way. So let's start over here. Okay, so the first kind of things that she gave me were a ton of eyelashes and I'm just going to be showing you those. So first I got two um, of the Fergie eyelashes by Wet n Wild and they just look like this. Um, they're really pretty kind of like wispy ones here and then just another pair right here so they're really really pretty I love these eyelashes and I can't wait to try them out next I got a big pack of eyelashes from Revlon and it's just a big set like this and then in the back it comes with like a little case for the eyelashes as well so I got a big pack and then I got um, a few ones from of Sephora eyelashes so first I have these two right here um, really thick and beautiful eyelashes I love these and then I have these right here, but as you can see, they're not in the case because I am wearing them right now. Um, they don't have a name or a number, so um, I'll just kind of show you. They're just like really big, really pretty eyelashes, so I love these ones as well. Those are probably my favorite. So I got quite a few eyelashes, and I have like one more Sephora one. And then she gave me a Sephora eyelash curler, which is out of the case because I used it today. A lot of the things that you're going to be seeing I used on my face today, so they're not like in the packaging or anything like that. So I got a Sephora um, eyelash curler, which I really like. It's like this pretty rainbow chrome color, so I like that. Then I got a little pack of, say, Yes to blueberries and these are just facial cleansing cloths. It's just like a little travel pack. So there's eight of them in here, which these are very come in handy for me big time. I use these all the time, so I'm glad I got a little pack of those. Next I got two kind of little hair things or as seen on TV things. The first thing is the Turby Twist and it's just like the little towel that you wear on your head and it is leopard print. Um, my dog did get to this packaging, so I'm sorry it's like not all pretty, but he likes to chew on things like this. But I did try this out last night, and it works really well. I love the Turby Twist. And then here I have the Turby Band, which is similar to the Turby Twist, but this one um, goes over your, your head. Not your whole head, but it kind of keeps your hair out of your face when you're, like, washing your face or anything like that. So I have the Turby Twist and the Turby Band. Next I got some Philosophy shower gels and body washes, and they just look like this. Um, I saw Shan XO kind of do these in a favorite video, so I was really excited to get these. So I have um, Spice Gingerbread Cookie, which is my all-time favorite. I did use this last night in the shower, and I loved it. I smelled like gingerbread, and I, I still do, so I love this stuff. It's excellent smelling. Then I have Golden Butter Candy, which kind of smells like butterscotch. Um, I have Jelly Bean, and then I have Peppermint Bark, which just looks like this. All of these make you smell really, really good, so these are like excellent, excellent body washes, so I'm really excited. Then I got some more lotions. I got a pack of the um, Kors body lotions, or body butters, excuse me, and they just look like this. One is out of the package because I did use it, so it's, um, it's, it's somewhere on this table, but um, there are four in here and it came in a pack of four and they all smell really good. Um, I love these. One's Apple Blossom, Basil Lemon, Jasmine, and I can't remember the name of the other one, but um, as I go through, 
will just kind of see it. I'm, did, I thought I had things more organized, but I guess not. And then I got the La Bella Provencia um, scented body care set, body care set, and it comes with um, a body scrub, a body wash, um, body butter, and body lotion. And it just looks like this. I love the packaging of this because it's like magnet right here. So I love that, and then it just snaps shut. Um, all of these are in the flavor Honey Vanilla, which is smells really good. I love vanilla scented lotion, so that's what that looks like. Next, I got some skincare products, which I have been using and I have been loving so far. First, I have a Garnier Nutrice Moisture Rescue, and it just looks like this. It's kind of like a facial moisturizer that you put on your face. Um, I do this after the shower. I just apply this all over my face, and this is excellent for winter because during the winter, you know, everything's really dry and your skin gets really dry, so this just kind of keeps your skin nice and moisturized, so I received that. And then I got the Garnier 5 Second Blur Skin Renew Instant Smoother, and it just looks like that. Um, I did put this on after I applied my moisturizer, and this just kind of helps um, smooth out any wrinkles you may have. I do have a couple wrinkles in my forehead, and when I tried this, like, it, this stuff's amazing. So, I love this stuff. And then I got two Origins um, eye creams. So, first I have this um, refreshing eye refreshing eye cream right here and this just kind of you just put this on in the morning and it keeps your eyes you know really awake and it kind of de-puffs them if you have any puffiness going on and then this one is an anti-aging anti eye treatment um, again you just put this on your eyes and it just kind of keeps your eyes looking young and gets rid of any wrinkles that you may have um, next I received some Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser which just looks like this I haven't tried it yet um, you just smooth on to any area with any visible pores and I guess it is supposed to erase them or make them appear, you know, smaller. So I can't wait to try that. I haven't tried this yet. Then I received some Bosha Beauty Oil, which just looks like this and it comes in like a little test tube like thing like you would use in chemistry, I guess. <laughs> Um, but this one, I mixed this in with my moisturizer and rubbed it on my face this morning and it's supposed to give you like a radiant finish. So I received that. And then another philosophy um, product is this Purity Face Cleanser. I used this this morning as well. And it's just kind of like a little face cleaner. It's just a one-step facial cleanser. You just rub it on your face for a minute and then rinse it off. Um, you can apply this to dry or damp face, so you don't necessarily have to get your face wet if you don't want to. And I love the smell of this stuff. Um, it's kind of hard to explain what the smell is, but I love it. It made my skin feel so, so smooth. Then I received an EOS um, hand cream, which just looks like this. As you guys know, I love the EOS lip balms. So I received the hand cream, and I was really excited about that. Um, I did do, apply this last night, and it did leave my hands really silky smooth. So this is a winner, winner for me. I love EOS products. Now moving on to some hair products, I received a ton of bedhead things. The first thing is this Massive Shine Hairspray, and it just looks like this. The bottle is super, super cool, um, and it's just, you know, just a regular hairspray aerosol, and it just comes in this really big bottle. So I love that, which is weird because I needed some new hairspray. So a lot of the things that Amy sent to me are things that I needed, so I don't know how she knew this, but, you know, she did really good. Um, next is something that I have been loving, and it is the Chi Keratin mist. I have been keeping my eye on this at the store recently and when I opened the box and saw this I like screamed. I was so excited about it. Um, it's just a leave-in strengthening treatment. You know you can spray it when you get out of the shower, just rub it in your hair or you can spray it on dry hair and it just you know keeps your hair healthy and protected and of course there is keratin in it so that is a win for all hair, all hair types because keratin is really really healthy for your hair. Next, I received this bedhead after party, and I have heard of this before, but I don't necessarily know what it's for. It's a smoothing cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair, um, and you just smooth it on dry hair and party on, so I guess it just makes your hair really silky and shiny, so this will come in handy for me. Next is this Rusk Straight. It's an anti-frizz and anti-curl lotion. Um, when you get out of the shower, you apply this to your hair and then blow dry and it's supposed to keep your hair, you know, dry straighter. So I can't wait to try that because that, normally I do like to keep my hair straight. So I can't wait to try that. 
Next are two, a shampoo and conditioner, and I'm really excited about this, and it's dripping all over me because I used it in the shower last night, and it is the Bedhead Dom Blonde shampoo and the conditioner, and I love this stuff. It smells really fruity and really good, and my hair looks so shiny and healthy looking after I use this, so I'm really happy, and I've always wanted to try this. I've looked everywhere for it, and I did find it at Ulta, and I was like, I'll wait on it. And then Amy sent it to me, so that was really exciting. So I love, love, love the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I will use it again in the shower tonight because I love it so much. She sent me a little mini Batiste dry shampoo, which just looks like this. It's like in a little travel size right here. And this is the Fruity and Cheeky Cherry. So I haven't sprayed this yet, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, it does smell like cherries. Yeah, that's really cool. So I can't wait to try this. A lot of you recommended this brand to me, so now that I have a travel size, I can kind of try it out. Um, so I'm really excited to try that. Next hair product is this Cara, Caristas. I can't. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's this little um, kind of liquid. And what you do is you put it on your hair. This is like Blake Lively. She used this. She uses this on her hair and it just keeps her ends looking really healthy and really nice. So I can't wait to try that because I'm all about keeping my ends healthy so my hair can grow. So I can't wait to try that just to keep, you know, my ends healthy. And I guess this is really, really highly rated. So um, I'm really, really happy to receive this. Next I have a bunch of perfumes. And the first set that she sent me and I about died when I opened it. Um, so it is all open so it doesn't look as nice as it did when it came, but it came in this little Victoria's Secret little clutch thing here and on the inside it came with this perfume which is a Victoria's Secret. This is my very first Victoria's Secret perfume and this is the Victoria's Secret Angel Dream. It's a fragrance mist and I was so excited to receive this because I've always wanted to own a Victoria's Secret perfume and now I do. I'm really excited about it. It smells so so good. I sprayed this on myself after I got out of the shower so really excited about that. This next one is the Victoria's Secret Angel Dream and it is a fragrance wash so I'm guessing um, I'm guessing it's like a body wash yeah, that's, I'm, that's just what I'm guessing. And then it also came with a lotion as well. So I have the lotion perfume and the fragrance um, wash. And then the next two perfumes that I received is this one, which I absolutely love. It is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. And it just looks like that. I hope I'm saying their names right. Um, and then, oh, this one just smells so, so good. I love this perfume. And then next is a Versace perfume. And this one is called Bright Crystal, and it's just in the little rolly tube like this. And I love this one as well. This one kind of smells like um, the Marc Jacobs Honey Perfume, which is excellent for me because I love that perfume. So this one kind of reminds me of that, and all of these just smell so, so good. Thank you so, so much. Next, we're going to move on to some brushes that I received. And the first um, set of brushes, I have like this little Stila brush right here and it's this silicone eyeshadow applicator. I'm gonna have to look up how to use this because I don't necessarily know how to like use it yet. Um, I'm sure it's pretty self-explanatory, but you know, I just wanna make sure that I'm using it right. Then I got this um, Sephora Must Have Powder Shadow Eyeshadow Brush, which just looks like this. Um, all of these did come in packaging, but since right when I got everything, I opened it up right away, so a lot of these are out of the packaging. Um, so this is just what that brush looks like, and Sephora brushes are so soft, like I cannot wait to use these. And then next I got another Sephora brush, and it is the Pro Smoky Liner one, and it just looks like this, and it comes with a little case on the brush so you know it stays sanitary, and it's just like a little, little eyeliner brush, if you can see that in there. And then I received a Sephora Mineral Powder Brush, which I used today to apply my makeup, and it's kind of like a little flat top mini kabuki I want to say and it's just like I just like patted my powder on my face and uh, just left a really flawless finish so I received that brush as well. Next I received a Real Techniques little brush set and it just opens up like that and it came with this little set of brushes so we have like an eyeshadow brush, a blending brush, um, and just little brushes like that. We also have kind of like an eyebrow brush to help 
draw on your eyebrows so this was really really nice of her to send me all of these brushes are so so soft and I can't wait to use them these are just like so so beautiful Next, I received a pack of Eco Tool brushes, which just look like this. I did see this at Walgreens, and I really wanted to give this a go. So I'm really excited that she sent this to me. And these are just like, these are probably the softest brushes I have ever touched in my life. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So we have a, um, we have a flat concealer brush here. We have a buffing concealer brush, a precision foundation brush, a blending brush, and a powder brush right here. So all of these, and then over here it just tells you like what all the brushes are and what they're for. And this is just like amazing. I was so excited. Next I got a pack of Sephora brushes as well and it came in this little case, this kind of like faux leather case. And then it just unzips like this and inside there are um, just another set of brushes which are also insanely soft as well like I almost don't want to use these because they're so soft but they're so beautiful and I can't wait to use them on my face um, they're just like I just oh, I'm just oh now we can move on to some eyeshadow palettes that I received and I honestly like I'm not gonna lie I started crying when I received these palettes because the first palettes that I saw was the Urban Decay Naked 2 and the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. Honestly, this is like such a popular product on YouTube right now and I now own this palette. Not only do I own this one, but I own the Naked 2 as well. Oh, I am just like, oh my gosh, like these are amazing and I can't wait to try these. They're absolutely beautiful. The colors are just so gorgeous. Um, I love love these palettes and I really want to really have wanted to own them for a while so the Naked 3 um, I'm sure you all have seen it before but just looks like that so that's what all of those um, eyeshadows look like and when it comes to me I keep all the packaging like all the stuff that's like higher end that came in packaging I literally have a box over there full of all of the empty packages because I like to keep them I don't know I'm just weird so when I use the Naked 3 I will keep this Naked 3 package and then the Naked 2 is also really pretty and also came with a little lip gloss as well so it just came in this thing right here and here's like the little lip gloss and on the inside of this one it just looks like that so those are all of the colors in the naked too next palette that I got is by benefit cosmetics and it's the world famous neutrals palette and when you open it up when you open it up it's like this little book and then on the inside we have all of the eyeshadows and then it comes with these two things over here which I'm not 100% sure what they are um, but this one is called RSVP, for example, and it's, I think it's like an eyeshadow base, or it could be used as an eyeliner, or I guess whatever you want, really. So it came with about, it came with four neutral colors of eyeshadows, and then two of the little eyeshadow bases at the bottom. So that was really cute. I love this palette, and I can't wait to try it, just for if I want like a natural smoky look. Then I received another Urban Decay palette, and this is the Urban Decay Dangerous palette, which just comes in this little kind of zipper package right here and then it has like the little Urban Decay sticker right there or tag and then when you open it up again it comes with another lip gloss right here which is a really nice color I love that and then it comes with six eyeshadows um, it comes with really dramatic looking colors which you guys know I love and it comes with like a dark blue a lighter blue green gray um, the gold color and this purple color so I can't wait to try this out the packaging is just so so cute um, and I've also heard a lot about this palette as well and I've heard good things about it. Move on to um, some eyeshadows that I received. So starting off we have this huge, huge pile of all of the L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible eyeshadows. And like I, I have like a huge pile of them. There's like a light pink color, um, a dark purple color, a lighter purple, a grayish green, a silver, and a blue. So I just have all of the possible colors I could ever need or use. So I'm really excited to try these as well. 
So I have six of the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. The next product that I received that kind of goes along with like face stuff is I have the original Beauty Blender. I now own the official Beauty Blender and it's already dirty because I used it today to apply my makeup and oh my gosh, like I don't know if I'll ever use a foundation brush again just because this did such a good job of like blending in my eyeshadow and getting everything looking really, really nice. So I now own the Beauty Blender and it came in this little thing right here, which um, it won't fit because it is drying right now because I had just finished my makeup. So um, it works really well. You just get it a little bit damp, put it in your makeup, and then just blend it in in padding motions and oh. It works so good, so I'm so excited to own the actual Beauty Blender because I did go out and buy a few a few dupes of the Beauty Blender and they just didn't work well. So now that I own the real one, I now know what everyone is talking about. It's it's amazing. Our eyeshadows that I received are by Sephora, and I I don't I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm not going to show all of them, but I'll just pick I'll just pick up a few of them. So I have these four right here. I kind of have like a reddish color, um, kind of a dark shimmery gray color. Um, a dark shimmery green color and then this really pretty blue color so I love these eyeshadows I swatched them and they're really really pretty so I can't wait to use these in makeup looks um, the reason why I am so excited because now I can do a whole bunch of different makeup looks because now I have more options to do different makeup looks so you guys are going to be seeing different things for me all the time now which is really exciting next I got three new color or four new color tattoos I kind of got two of these limited edition color tattoos and this one is in just beige and then there's another one somewhere in this setup that I have going on and that was also a limited edition then I got another blue color tattoo and then I got this kind of burgundy color and this one is in pomegranate punk so it's a really pretty burgundy color and I can't wait to try this this was actually going to be my next color tattoo purchase so the fact that she sent that to me is just like that's amazing like how how did she know like, I got another um, Sephora eyeshadow set and it just comes like this um, and inside we just have like a big array of purples and darks. It's just really pretty. There's like a lot of eye makeup looks you could do with this one palette alone. So that's really cool. Um, I have a NARS eyeshadow duo now and this one is in Underworld. Um, and it just looks like this. There's like a dark blue and kind of like a grayish blue color in there as well. So that was really cute. I received a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow and this one is in Champagne. And this is just a really neutral color. This would be a really pretty eyelid color. Next I received two MAC paint pots and they just look like this. This one is in Soft Ochre, which I've heard a ton about from beauty gurus on YouTube. And then I also received Painterly as well. So I have two little, um, paint pots right here from Mel from MAC and I'm guessing they're used for eyeshadow bases so which would work perfect for me because I wear eyeshadow almost every single day so that's perfect. Next I received another little mini MAC eyeshadow and this one is in Silver Dawn and I have to show you guys this like this is just like this is gorgeous like look at that isn't that pretty I love that color. It's really pretty and it, like the inside is just gorgeous. This one is called Sil Silver, did I already say the name? I'm not sure, but it's called Silver Dawn. So I have another little mini one of that. Next I received quite a few Stila products and this first one I saw Allison Loves JB receive this for Christmas and she did kind of like a tutorial on it I think and this one is in Metallic Lavender and it's like the little metallic eyeshadow and then it comes with a little liquid primer and on the inside it comes with like a mixing tray so you put a couple of drops of this primer on the mixing tray and then a little bit of the eyeshadow mix it up and it's kind of like a metallic um, eyeshadow so I love that I was really excited because I really wanted to try this so um, I'm really glad that I have one now to you know kind of play with and try out and then I received a few more Stila eyeshadows but like I said I don't want to um, you know show all of them because this video would be over two hours long so um, the two that I picked up are the Stila this one is in metallic navy which is a really pretty blue color and then I received kitten by Stila which is really pretty this came in like this um, little collection I believe so that's a really pretty color as well it kind of it's like a darker version of champagne by Bobbi Brown with a little bit more shimmer so that's really pretty. I received three of these CoverGirl Bombshell Shine Shadows, which just look like this. And then I have like a lavender one. Um, 
somewhere. <laughs> um, I have everything out on this table and I guess like a few of them just ran away from me. But I have two of these CoverGirl bombshell ones and what you do is this one is in Ice Queen and this one is in Color Me Money. So what you do is you just put these either on your eyelid on their own or you can put them on top of eyeshadows to make them pop more. So these are going to come in handy for me because I really like shiny eyeshadows. I just think they're just really, really pretty to have on your eyes. Next, I received the a Rihanna palette from the Riri Loves Matte Collection, and it just comes with these colors right here, which are really pretty, kind of neutral tones, but a little bit of shimmer in those eyeshadows as well. And the packaging just looks like this. It's the Riri Loves Matte Collection, which these are really like expensive, so the fact that I own one now is just like insane to me. Like insane. Then I have a little box of the Smashbox bestsellers um, by, and on the inside it comes with a whole bunch of Smashbox products. Like first we have this Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and these are all like little sample sizes. Um, this is an under eye primer. Then we have a foundation primer right here, a clear foundation primer, and then this kind of like nude shimmery um, lip gloss, which would go really good on my lips today, so I'll try it out. So that is everything that came in this little um, Sephora's bestseller box, and they're all just little samples in this little box. Then I received a MAC eye pigment, which I am wearing on my eyes today, and this one is in blue-brown, and it just comes in a package like this, and it also came with the MAC Studio FX... Fix Plus spray, so you, you, you like spray this on your brush and then dip it in the pigment and then just pat it on your eye. Worked really, really well, so this is another thing I received. It's just the MAC Fix Plus and then the little eye pigment. I think I have another one around here somewhere. If I find it, I'll show you guys um, what it looks like and the color of it in case you guys want to know. Then I received a Neutrogena Crease Proof Eyeshadow. Um, I received three of these, I believe, and this one is in Stay Put Plum. So it's just like a really pretty color, uh, which you just put on your eyelid and kind of blend out. Then I received a couple of primers. I received another Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, a Too Faced Eyeshadow Primer, which I tried today, so we'll see how that one works. And then I received a pack of three Stila Stay All Day HD Beauty Balms, which just look like this. Um, like one of them is an illuminating one and then all of these have different uses so this came in a pack of three as well. Then I received a Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in the shade number three which matched my skin perfectly so she did a really good job of guessing. Um, so this worked really well. Um, I had like a few blemishes down here which I covered up with this and it did a really good job. Um, I received a Makeup Forever Sun Size or Sun Size um, which is an eye makeup remover so I will be trying this tonight as well. Um, I received an, another Origins product. This is the Origins Active Charcoal Mask. Um, so it's just like a face mask and it's supposed to clear your pores. Um, you know, all that good stuff. So I will be trying this in a bath tonight as well. I received some Alme Smart Shade CC Luminous Primer, which just looks like this. So it's like a CC cream and it's just supposed to correct your complexion and all that good stuff. And it has an SPF of 15. So I received that as well. Um, I received a L'Oreal uh, Magic Lumi primer as well for your face before you apply your makeup. Can't wait to try this. I've heard a lot of really good things about this primer. Next, I received a Bosha BB cream, which just looks like this. I received another um, self-adjusting flawless coverage um, BB cream, and this is by... Dr. Brandt, which just looks like this. So you just put it on your face and then it's supposed to self-adjust to your own skin tone. I also received a Sephora Daily Makeup Brush Cleanser, which just looks like this. I used it today in one of my makeup brushes and it worked really well. You just spray it three or four times on your brush, wipe it off, and you're good to go. Cleans your brushes so you can use different colors on one brush if you want to, instead of, you know, taking a break to go wash your makeup brushes. Um, now we're going to move on to eyeliners and all that good stuff. I received quite a few of them. Um, I also received a few mascaras as well. So here are all of the eyeliners and products that I received. The first thing that I received that I was insanely excited about is the Anastasia Brow Pencil, which just looks like this. And this is in the color 
um, the Anastasia Brow Wiz, I'm sorry. And I believe this is in the color Ash, yeah, Ash Blonde, which matched my eyebrows perfectly. And then she got me the um, Anastasia um, Brow Powder, which just looks like this. And this is also an Ash Blonde, and I used it on my eyebrows today, and it worked really well. I'm really happy with it. And then it came with, she also gave me the Anastasia Brow um, Brush, just to kind of get in the little nooks and crannies to shape your eyebrows better. Um, I received a few more Wet n Wild Fergie Collection eyeliners. So this one comes in like a hot pink color, and then it also comes in a purple color as well, which will really give me the option to go all out with certain makeup tutorials, so I'm really excited about that. Next I received a Makeup Forever Aqua Shadow, which just looks like this, and you just kind of color on your eyelid for some eyeshadow. Um, I received all Naked one, Naked 1, Naked 2, and Naked 3, the um, eyeliners, the dual end eyeliners, which just look like this. Some of them have like grays and browns, blacks and browns, just different colors like that, so I thought that was really convenient. I used the um, Naked eyeliner today in this color, which is in Whiskey. I used that on the bottom of my eye today. I also received a brown eyeliner from Stila, which just looks like that. It's a really, really dark brown eyeliner, which is perfect because really all I own is black eyeliner, so it's nice to own um, some brown eyeliner as well. Then I received some L'Oreal Paris eyeliner, so this one's in like a plummy color, and then this one is in a dark charcoal color. I received a lip liner from Milani, and this one's in the color Spice, which is excellent because she gave me quite a few lipsticks to go along with this lip liner, so I'm really excited for that. Um, again, here is another one of those Neutrogena Crease Proof Eyeshadows. Um, this one is in Lasting Taupe, which I love brown and taupey eyeshadows, and I have a taupe um, MAC eyeshadow, so this, the, those two will go really good together, I feel like. And then I got two of the um, liquid eyeliner pens. So this one is by CoverGirl, and it's just a um, little eyeliner pen like that, which is in black. And then I received this really cool looking one, which just looks like this, and it is by Sephora. So it's the Sephora eyeliner pen like that, and you just... And the reason why, I think the reason why it's shaped like this is because you can like hold it like this and like get in there. So this worked really well today. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun trying that out. I received some mascaras. The first one is the new CoverGirl 2-in-1 right here. So it has like, you apply this first to your lashes and then you turn it over and apply the second. Um, this is in the color brown black and it's just like a really big thick tube. Can't wait to try this. Candy Johnson did a demo with this mascara and it turned out beautiful. So I can't wait to try this on my own lashes. Next, I received two Great Lash by Maybelline. These are the limited edition. I have the Teal Appeal one and the Wink of Pink. So these are, this is like a blue mascara. And then I also have the pink mascara as well, which just looks like that. So I can't wait to try those. Those should go be interesting to, you know, apply different colors to your eyelashes. That'll be fun. I received a Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara right here, which just has this really big brush, and then it has kind of like the pivot, so you can, you know, get into your lashes really good. Now moving on to blushes and highlighters. I received so many blushes from Sephora. Um, I'm just going to pick up a few of them. But we have some blushes right here. We have a highlighter that I used today that I love. Um, we have a Maybelline Master Highlight, which just looks like that. So I'm guessing this could be used as a blush and a highlighter. So that's really cool. It just looks like that, kind of like that cool quilty pattern. Um, next, I received a NARS blush, which one, which this one I was really excited for, and I used it on my cheeks today. It just looks like that, and this is NARS Deep Throw um, Blush, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today, so it gives you that really pretty nice rosy pink. Next, I received this MAC. Um, center of Attention Mineralized Skin Finish, which just looks like this. This, like, values at $33 for this one, so this is, oh, this is just beautiful. Um, so you could use this for many, many different things, like a highlighter, or just like a flawless, like, you know, kind of shine finish to your face, whatever you want to use it for. And then I received this Stila Convertible, Convertible Color, and this could be used as a um, blush or lip color and it just looks like that. I already used it as you can see and this one is in the color peachy 
or phony, I'm sorry. I'm I'm like mixing up my words today. But that's what that one looks like. It's really, really pretty. Now we're going to move on to the biggest part of this makeup haul, which is going to be lipsticks, lip glosses, and nail products. So first, I just want to take a moment to just stare at these. And if you will notice, they are all MAC lipsticks. Oh my god. Okay, if you remember my bucket list tag, uh, one of the things on my bucket list is I want to at least own or use a MAC lipstick before I die. Well, I now have a total, I now have a total of eight, eight MAC lipsticks, eight of them, eight. Like, I've never owned one before and now I have eight. That is so amazing. Like, I don't know how I could ever thank this girl enough. Like, I just feel like, Oh, she she just oh my gosh I cannot believe she did this and um, I got candy yum yum by Mac I have politely pink by Mac um, snob um, ruby woo which is such a gorgeous matte red oh look at that oh I'm so excited to use this so then I got that one I got half and half by Mac um, plumful um, Saint Germain which is a really popular one I think. I think St. Germain is one of Pink Sparkle's favorite ones, so I'm excited to try that one. And then this one is in a different packaging, it's not in like the usual MAC lipstick. Um, this one is, maybe this was like part of a collection or something, but this is the MAC Huggable Lip Color, and this is the color Out for Passion, which just looked like this. It's not like a red color, it's more like a reddish orange color. Still really pretty, really really like it. Um, if you want me to do like a separate video with all of the like more in-depth swatches of these MAC lipsticks, let me know and I will do that for you guys because I know MAC lipsticks are one of the most popular ones out there. So yeah, if you guys want to see that, you can go ahead and ask for that as well. But I don't want to do it in this video because I don't want to make it too long. But take my word for it and know that all of these colors are absolutely gorgeous. Next, I received a whole bunch of the, um, what are they? The Revlon... Just Bit and Kissable little jumbo jumbo gloss balm pencils. Um, I have a couple CoverGirl ones in here. Um, I have a few from Sephora in here. So first we just have like all the Revlon Just Bitten ones which are in a, come an array of different colors. So we have like a hot pink, a baby pink, um, a lighter pink, and then a red color. Um, then I received a few from, a couple from CoverGirl which are in like this light kind of nudie pink and then a darker reddish pink and then the one from Sephora I got is called um, Glossy Raspberry and it just looks like that so all of these come in very similar packaging so they all look really they'll look really really nice in um, like a vanity or in like a little um, lip balm tray so I love those and I can't wait to try those out. Then I received three L'Oreal Paris lipsticks and one I'm wearing on my lips today. The one I'm wearing on my lips today is the L'Oreal Paris 423 um, lipstick and this one is in Perpetual Peach. So I received that one and two more which just look like this kind of like a um, light pink and a darker pink and this one's in like a brown nude color which I love. I'm wearing it on my lips today. Next, I received so many Maybelline New York lip glosses, and they all come in so many different colors. Um, as you can, I'm picking up as much as I can hold in my hands at once. So here are all of the colors that I received. Um, they just look like that, just different arrays of pinks and browns and reds and darker colors. So they're all really pretty, and I have a use for all of these, just for all of the different lipsticks that I have now. So these will come in um, handy a lot. Next I received another Maybelline lipstick and this one is in Stormy Sahara in the color 945. This is another Maybelline Vivid I believe but the packaging looks a little bit different. I think this is the um, the Maybelline like matte. I think it's the matte color. I'm not sure but it just looks like this and again it's in Stormy Sahara which is a pretty pretty brownish nude color so I love that as well. I received five baby lips and Pink Sparkles raves about baby lips. She loves baby lips so in order for me to try them out on my own is just awesome. So thank you Amy so much for sending me five of them. Um, we have just diff a whole bunch of different um, colors and you know flavors. So this one is in Cherry Me, um, Pink Me Up, 
um, Pink Shock. Just Peachy is my favorite. And then we have the Soothing Sorbet. So I have five of them to try out and I'm really excited. Um, like I said, my favorite is the Just Peachy. It's like a perfect little chapstick nude color. It's just great. So like a little lip tint kind of. I received a few more lipsticks from Sephora, which just look like that. They just come in the little Sephora packaging. Um, I don't know the names of these, but they are... Oh, right here. Um, this one is in Rogue Shine, so it's like a really pretty dark pink, burgund light burgundy color. So that's really pretty. My mom would love this one. Rogue Shine isn't the name of this one. I don't know the name. It just says N13, so I guess N13. That's the color of that one, and then this one is an N38, which is like a really sparkly, pr pretty pink color, which I love, which, oh my gosh, these are just absolutely gorgeous. Then I received these two CoverGirl um, lip, dual end lipsticks, and they just look like that. Um, this one down here comes with like a darker color, and then there's like a lighter one. And then same goes for this one, the darker one and the lighter one. So these are really, really pretty. Then I received quite a few of these CoverGirl smoochies. Um, they're just like the little lip, lip glosses right here, and they're absolutely gorgeous. I received so many of these, so I will never run out of lip glosses. I told Chance yesterday as we were going through all this stuff, I was like, if we're at the store and you see me go towards the lipstick aisle, like hit me because I have so many lip glosses that will last me a lifetime so I received a whole bunch of these. Um, this is in 520 and this is in 516. Um, I've never actually seen these before so I guess if you want to look into these just kind of look around and you'll find them. Next I received some more Fergie's Things by Wet n Wild and they're like these little um, lip stains right here. So this one comes in like a um, kind of like a hot pinkish color and this one's in like a brown nudie color. Um, let's see the names, the names, the names. This pinky color is called Street Queen and then this kind of nudie brown color is in Legendary Face. So these are absolutely gorgeous. I will use these quite a bit because you know I really like pinks and nudes um, for on my lips so those will do really good. I received some Philosophy Lip... What are these? Um... I guess they're just lip glosses, but they kind of go along with the body washes that I showed you in the beginning, and there's four of them right here. Um, this one is in Marshmallow, um, Sugar Sprinkles, which smells like cupcakes, like straight up. Like when you put it on your lips, it's like you just got done eating a cupcake. It's absolutely amazing. Um, this one is in Peppermint Stick, and then this one is in Candy Fruit Rings. So all of these smell absolutely good. Chance was... Because we were like going through everything and we were smelling these and he was like, can you eat them? And <laughs> they smell that good. Like if you, like, you want to eat them when you smell them because they smell that good. Then I got a two Stila lip glosses, but um, the other one is in the pile somewhere. So I'm sorry I have it. It's just, you know, mixed up. I guess next time I do this, I need to like be more organized. But this first lip gloss is by Stila and it smells so good. It's the Stay All Day Liquid, oh, Liquid Lipstick. And it's really good pigmentation. It smells amazing. I think I think this one, um, this one had a smell. Hang on, let me just give it a. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's frosting. It smells like frosting. It's oh, it smells so good. I love it. Um, I'm afraid if I put this on my lips, I'll just eat it. I'll just lick it all off. You know, like it smells that good. And this one's in the color Bellissima. And then I received a Stila Lip Glaze, which just looks like this, and it just has like the little top right here. And then to get the color, you just twist the top, and then the color comes out of the little top there. Um, here's another one of those CoverGirl smoochies, um, the little lipsticks. This one just looks like that. Um, I received quite a few of these as well, so these are um, just some little jumbo lipsticks, it looks like. Then I received a pack of three NYX Butter Glosses, which just look like that. They just came in a little package. Um, this one is in, let's see, Apple Strudel, um, Meringue, I think that's how you say that, Meringue from this one. And then this one, my favorite, is Creme Brulee. So all of these are just really pretty colors, and I will get a lot of great use out of these, and just for a little... Um, side note is that NYX is cruelty free, so all of you vegetarians and vegans out there, NYX is a good brand for you if that is what you're interested in. I received a red Stila lip gloss, which just looks like that. Um, this would be really pretty over a red lipstick, so it's just a really vibrant red color. Um, this one is in the color Beso. And then next I received a ton 
a ton of the, what are they? I think they're, Lore, yeah, some L'Oreal lip glosses and they all come in different shades like this. As many as I could, but they all just look like this. And then it's kind of cool because it has like what the color generally looks like on the outside. So we have like a reddish color, um, kind of like a dark pink color. Um, oh, we have two of the same of this one. So I'll probably give one to my sister and then a nude one. So that one's really pretty. Now, last but not least, we can move on to nail products. And I have about one bar left on my battery, so I'm hoping I can get through the rest. I told you this was gonna be long, like, did I not? Like, I go hope y'all are comfortable, because this is a long video. So the first thing I got are these really cute toe separators for when you do your toenails. I used these last night and painted my toes, and they worked really well, so that's why they're all kind of like spread out now, because I used these on my toesies last night. Um, next, I received the this one is the kiss nail dress um, of those little nail stickers which is so weird I don't know how she knew this either but I um what was it if you guys watched like that purple rock and roll smoky makeup look um I you guys saw my nails and I had the same nail stickers on my nails so I've really been getting into them so I'm really happy she sent me more next I have another one and this is just kind of like in a zebra print um, another cool thing about these is they can either be worn on your full nail or you can make them into French. And they're just kind of like really neon colors that kind of go up in like an ombre, which is so gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear these. And then next she sent me a Sally Hansen Salon Effects. Um, this one is the... Um, I'm not sure the name of this one, but as you can see, it is so, so my style. It's like hearts and skulls. It's very Avril Lavigne and very me, so I can't wait to try these. These are just gorgeous. When Chance saw these, he was like, put those on right now. He loved these, so that was really cool to receive. And then next, I got this kind of little tiny, um, little wallet looking thing, and then when you open it up, it has like a little manicure set. It's so cute, I love it. It's like a neon pink and then on the inside it's green and then all the tools are like a neon pink. And what's funny is that there's tweezers in here. And the funny thing is yesterday, or no, two days ago, I lost my tweezers. I have no idea where they went. I can't find them for the life of me. And when I opened this up to my surprise, there was a pair of tweezers in there. So I have tweezers again. So my eyebrows, thank you, Amy. <laughs> now everything we have left are some nail polishes. The first one is this big pack, 18 color LA colors, full of nail polishes. They're like in the little mini size. Some are missing because I was playing around with them last night. So I have them um, sitting over here, like here's, one and more over here so yeah I took all the ones that I was playing with all last night just to kind of mess around with but um, they did come in this big pack of 18 colors and you know it pretty much has almost every LA colors you could imagine um, I'm really excited because there's like a glitter one in here love that um, another thing is LA Colors is also cruelty free, so if you like any of these nail polishes and you are a vegan or vegetarian, LA Colors is also cruelty free. Before I move on to the rest of the nail polishes, I found a few more products that I forgot to show you guys. Um, in the blush category that came with these, I got two of these Maybelline Master Glaze blush sticks, which just look like this. This one is in a Pink Fever, which is like a really dark pink, and then this one is in just pinched pink. So, and these are like, you just kind of rub them on your cheeks and then blend them in. So I found those laying around on the table. Um, didn't have them in my little blush pile, so forgot to mention those. And then this last thing is a MAC It's Physical Fluid Line um, liner, which is a really pretty brown color, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you could probably use this as an eyeshadow base too, I guess, if you wanted to, um, maybe. Possibilities are endless with makeup, right? Okay, now moving on to the rest of the nail polishes. I have literally, my lap is full of nail polishes right now. This first one is a Marc Jacobs nail polish, which just looks like this, and this really elegant bottle right here. Do you guys see Motley making his bed? Hi! <laughs> He was making his bed in the blanket. Anyway, so I have this really pretty Marc Jacobs nail polish. Um, this is in Petra, and it just come, this just pops off, and then the little thing just opens up like that. So that's a really pretty color, just really sparkly and shimmery, which just looks like that. Um, next, I received two MAC um, nail polishes as well. Um, this one right here is what I am wearing on my toes today. Um, I don't, I'll try to show you a clip of what my toes look like. 
It's just this really pretty blue. It's very like, it's called Pearl Formidable. Pearl Formidable, I think that's what it's called. And it literally, like when I saw it and opened it, the first thing that came to mind was Galaxy. I instantly thought of the, you know, just the colors of the galaxy and just like the little undertones of greens and blues and pinks and yellows and gold. Every color you could imagine is in this nail polish and it looks so, so beautiful on the nails. The next one by MAC is this one and it is called Screaming Bright and it's this really shimmery kind of gold color. I think this would be pretty on the nails for like holiday, like Christmas. I think that would be really pretty on the fingernails and on the toes. Next I received two of these Sally Hansen Satin Glam Nail Polishes. One is in like a gray color and then this purple color. Um, this one is in Taffita and then this one is in Metal Ice. So those are what the names of those ones are called. Then I received two Urban Decay nail polishes, which is amazing. I didn't even know Urban Decay made nail polish, so when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, and I was obsessed with the packaging. Like, look at the tops. They're little skulls. That is so cool. Like, you know, like, how awesome is that? Um, this one right here is called Blackheart, and it's like a, kind of looks like the MAC one, and it's like like a little bit darker and then it has undertones of purples and greens in there so that's really pretty and then this one is called Zodiac and I'm actually wearing it on my fingers today I painted my nails last night using this color because when I opened it this was the first one that caught my eye so I wanted to paint my nails and it looks really pretty on um, just like the little shimmers in there and like the really pretty green color. I love this color. So this is Zodiac. Next I received a Wet n Wild Mega Rocks Glitter Nail Color and it just looks like that. There's just little bits of glitter in this and it's um, so like if I had like black nail polish on I could paint this over and little little chunks of glitter would be on so this will come in handy because I love glitter nail polishes so I was excited about that. I received um, three Essie nail polishes and they all look like this. Um, one is in a baby pink, a kind of sparkly burgundy color, and then this blue color. This one is Moochie Moochie, I think it's called. This one is Toggle to the Top, so it's just this really pretty sparkly um, red color. And then this one is Beach Bum Blue, which I've heard a lot about, um, which is this pretty, really, really pretty blue color. Then I received this one. This is by the. This is spoiled by Wet n Wild, so it's like a Wet n Wild brand, and it's like a really pretty neon yellow color with some green in there. And the name of this one, like this is like my new favorite nail polish, just for the name. Ready? Here's the name of this nail polish. Did I dye it too blonde? That is so freaking cool. So that's the name of this nail polish, and um, it's. No such thing as too blonde, dear. Oh, I have another MAC nail polish. This one's like a purple shimmery color. Kind of looks like the gold one that I showed you. And this one's in called Girl Trouble, which just looks like this. Really, really pretty. Then the last thing that I have to show you guys is I have six of the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant polishes. So I'll show you three at a time. The first three are these little bottles right here. And I have a red color, which is in the color... Um, or the number 180 right here. Then I have this extremely beautiful vibrant purple color in the color 310. And then a kind of sparkly pink color in 313. So that's what that one looks like. Then the next three are... The next three are is I have another 313 color and then I have a really pretty, very vibrant blue color in number 295. And then the last one is this one and it's like the same packaging and everything and this is in the color 225. So those are all of the nail polishes that I have now. So before she sent me the package I had maybe about four nail polishes. Well now I have an entire collection so that is super exciting. Yay! Okay so before I go I looked around and I made sure I mentioned everything and I found a few more products. Um, like here I have another Fergie lip gloss and this is in the color um, another legendary face, so I have another one of those. Uh, I also received some Sally Hansen, is it Sally Hansen? I don't know. Oh no, Broadway. I received a pair of, or a set of Broadway Impress nails, so those just look like that. They're like the little tie-dye ones. So that's another nail product. Um, I have a Maybelline eyeshadow palette right here. Um, and this one's really cool because it actually tells you um, where to apply all the colors so it tells you what is your base, what's your crease, what's your lid. So 
yeah, that's what um, this is right here. I have another NARS eyeshadow duo, and this one is in, um, what is this one? I will open it up and show you. Um, this one is in Habanera, and it's just a really pretty one. It just got some purples and then like a kind of light shimmery grayish blue color, which is also really, really pretty. Another nail polish that I have that was I found kind of scattered underneath some things was the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure, and this one's and then Raisin the Bar, and it just looks like that. Really big bottle, so there's a ton of nail polish in here. And then I also found a Revlon blush laying around in my blush pile that I forgot to pick up and mention. What And it just looks like this. It's just in a really pretty racy rose color, so it's a perfect blush color. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching this big, big makeup haul. I first want to give such a big thank you, and I really appreciate it to Amy. Thank you so much for sending me all this stuff. You went completely above and beyond. I wasn't expecting any of this, and I'm so incredibly grateful for everything that you sent me. It really means a lot to me, and I'm really excited to try everything out and do some more makeup looks, so thank you so, so much. I don't know how I could possibly, like repay you. I just, oh, I just am so incredibly grateful. So thank you so much. Um, I really hope the rest of you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and um, please leave your comments down below if you have anything, you know, you want to tell me or anything that you, you know, want to tell me is really good, that you own, that works really good. So yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed and until then, I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.